And it's basically a masterclass on developing the Furiosa character because if you think about it, in Fury Road, we get backstory to Furiosa, but not much. So to me, this is one of the first times George Miller has tackled, you know what? I fell in love with this character. We're going to focus on this character and we're going to tell a lot of information about this character because even Mad Max, the first movie, we get obviously a ton of backstory and that is made to lead us to believe of why he does everything he does in the next movies. But this one, we get where Furiosa is from, how she came to be there, why she isn't there anymore, why and how she got to be in charge of a war rig. And like you said, she didn't talk much because she was portraying, portraying to be a boy. So she couldn't talk. And then by keeping silent, she everybody thought she was kind of stupid and left her alone and that was how she stayed under the radar because when they knew she was a girl and a woman because she was very young and a full life at that and she was put with the other harem 